up, YouTube? So, uh, this is gonna be a, this is a how-to video. I get asked this question a lot, and, um, you know, uh, I figured I'd show how to do it. Now, there's uh, a bunch of different videos on the internet about how to lube a yo-yo. So, this is gonna be my, this is how I lube a yo-yo. So, a uh, bunch of different videos on the internet, how to lube a yo-yo. They make it a real complicated, long process. Um, and they explain a lot of things about it. I'm going to kind of explain things about it, but I don't think it's as complicated as lots of other videos make it out to be. So, without further ado, let's talk about the lube in a yo-yo. So, why would you want to lube your yo-yo? So, or your fidget spinner. So, this is going to be about both lubing yo-yos and fidget spinners. Um, so summer's coming up, and, uh... You know, part of the problem with some with you know spinners and yo-yos and stuff is that the ball bearings inside of them are steel. Um, now, steel ball bearings can rust. These ball bearings are a little rusty. The the weighted ones on the outside are rusty and kind of gungy, and you know, the middle ones luckily not. And uh, you know, this bearing, you know, it's fine. It's okay. It's a little bit. It's getting a little bit gunked up. It's been in my desk for a long time. It may need cleaned. But uh, I figured it was a good candidate to at least show you how to how I lube a yo-yo. So um, weather changing, humidity's changing. When stuff like that happens, sometimes bearings just seize up. It happens too when it goes from warm to cold or cold to warm. Sometimes bearings just seize up. All of a sudden, your fidget spinner will be <laughs> scratchy feeling, or your uh, yo-yo will just start to feel like it's not spinning as long, or it'll just spin out, and the it'll just feel. It'll start to make like a bzzz sound, like it's the bearings locking up. So uh, one of the ways you can fix this is by lubing the bearing. Um, so I prefer this is the only bearing, um, this is the only lube I've ever purchased, but I like the uh, One Drop V4M bearing lube. Uh, One Drop makes yo-yos and they make uh, fidget spinners, so um, this lube is good for both. So this is uh, actually bearing and taper lubricant. So you can lube your uh, fidget spinner bearings, you can lube your yo-yo bearings, and um, you can lube the, uh, if you have a side effect yo-yo from one drop, you can uh, lube the, ta the, the side effects, the inside of the side effects as well, and it'll kind of help clean that out and keep that, uh, you know, keep that good as well. So um, <clears throat> definitely good for that as well. But I'm going to show you. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to loop everything, and then I'm going to cut, and we'll string the yo-yo up, and I'll show you, and we'll, you know, spin the fidget spinner as well, and I'll show you, you know, how, what to do after you've lubed the bearing. Because it's a two-step process. First, got to lube it, and then you got to kind of break the lube in. So, uh, think about thin lube, which is what this is. This is thin lube. is It's meant to break down. So, uh, immediately upon lubing the bearing, uh, if the bearing didn't need lubed, and even if it did need lubed, you're going to lose a little bit of spin time, uh, and you're going to need to break that lube in. But what that lube is, what the thin lube is, it's almost like a degreaser. So what it's going to do is break down anything like sweat or whatever that's in the bearing, kind of break that down as well, and uh, thin out over time. So once you've lubed the bearing, you want to give the yo-yo or the spinner a bunch of hard spins and let the, let the, the lube break down. So the first thing you're going to want to do is expose the bearing. Now, a lot of guys will uh, tell you to take the shields out and what have you. Now, this, this bearing doesn't have any shields. And uh, this one, let's see if I can get this off without, yeah, there we go. And this one doesn't have any shields either. But uh, they'll tell you to take the shields off. You can take the shields off if you want. Um, I don't think you have to put the shields back on if you take them off. Um, a lot of times, I don't even bother taking the shields off because they're not watertight. The, it'll get into the bearing, the lube will get into the bearing, whether the shield's on it or not. So, uh, and you don't want to get a ton of lube in there, and that's kind of the trick to lubing your bearing, is not getting a ton of lube in there. So the first thing I kind of like to do is, like, make sure your hands are clean. I just washed my hands. Like, kind of stick my thumb in there, kind of try to wipe out whatever I can. <laughs> Blow out whatever I can. <laughs> as best as I can. Spin it. This bearing spins, eh. Nah. Okay, kind of like, gunks up at the end. It probably actually needs clean, but for purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to lube it. So, the way I do it is very simple. So, you got to be very careful if you do it this way. But uh, what I do is I just take a little bit and I kind of get the outside of the little dropper wet. And then I wipe that onto the bearing. That's it. It's less than half a drop. It's less than a quarter of a drop. 
spin it a little bit, you see some particles flick off. And that's it. Make sure you don't get any on the pads. My pads look pretty clean. Um, none on the outside of the bearing. But the bearing's spinning a little freer now. Yeah, bearing's spinning a little freer now. Then put your area back together. And then I set it down. I'll show you what the same thing, same thing with the fidget spinner. It might be a little easier even to show you. So I'm going to first kind of get my finger and you know, get whatever gunk out of there. This doesn't really need lubed either, but for the purposes of this video, I don't care about its spin time. Uh, you know, if it was gunky or something, I'm going to show you. So the same thing, fidget spinner bearings are a little bigger. So, but same thing, you just kind of work it in there, half a drop, just kind of get the outside of this little plastic part wet, and then work that in there. You want to get like almost none in there. Then uh, spin it a little bit. Blow, put the cap back on, and uh, there we go. So let's string up the yo-yo, and I'll show you what to do once you've got everything uh, all lubed up and whatnot, and uh, I'll be back in just a sec. All right, guys, and we're back. I got this all strung up, and uh, fidget spinners all put back together. Uh, first, I'll show you the fidget spinner. So basically what you want to do is give it a bunch of hard spins. Um, it's dead silent now. Because I lubed it up nice. Uh, spins nice and buttery smooth. And the other nice thing about uh, about lubing the bearing is once you've lubed it, what you're going to do is it's going to pr help protect and help prevent rust in the bearing. And this is in your hand all day. Or, you know, a lot of the day. So, um, you know, you're going to want something that's going to make sure that you're not rusting out the bearing in the middle of your fidget spinner. Because if it rusts out, you got to throw it away and replace it. Uh, you can always lube a bearing that's stuck, or you can always clean a bearing that's dirty, or if you over lube it or whatever, you can always work the bearing out. But if the bearing rusts, that's it. Throw it away, get a new bearing. And, you know, sometimes new bearings will cost almost as much as a spinner. So, you know, if you keep it lubed, keep your bearings lubed, especially in the high-end spinners, uh, you know, you keep them smooth, spinning buttery smooth, and, um, you know, you prevent the bearings from rusting. Um, disclaimer, don't uh, I have no idea about uh, ceramic bearings, so uh, this is a stainless steel bearing. I don't even know if it's stainless. It's probably just steel. Um, this is a steel bearing, so you can lube the steel bearings. I don't know about uh, ceramic bearings. Probably don't want to lube those or follow whatever the manufacturer says to do with the ceramic bearings. But with stainless steel, that's what you're going to want to do. Lube it the way I lubed it. Or, you know, whatever way works for you. But that's how I do it. Figured I'd make a video and show you. Uh, as far as yo-yos are concerned, got this all strung up, and uh, first, um, this thing was almost responsive before. See, it's a little responsive still, but uh, it's spinning smooth, and uh, actually less responsive than it was before, which is good, because it was kind of dirty and responsive before, so maybe I won't actually have to clean this. But uh, you just want to play it a little bit, don't do anything too risky, because it's not... It's, you know, freshly lubed, so it's not going to be totally unresponsive yet. Like, actually, we're getting there. But uh, you're just going to basically want to throw it hard a few times and get the bearing worked in. Get the lube worked in. Just throw it hard, let the lube do its work. Get the yo-yo spinning. And, uh... You know, you'll 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 notice the yo-yo will be nice and quiet, and it'll start to spin longer and longer every time you throw it, and become more and more unresponsive. But uh, you know, now I've thrown it a few times, pretty much perfectly unresponsive, and uh, perfectly silent. I can already tell this has got an improved... Oh, there we go. I can already tell the spin time's getting a little better. It's not as sticky either. Yeah. 
Yeah. The string was sticking on me real bad before. It's not sticking so much anymore. But, uh... Yeah, that's how I lube a bearing, guys. Uh, it's work works on my is just fine. Uh, they all come un- they all come back end up being unresponsive. Uh, the trick is to lube, use as little lube as you possibly can, um, and don't lube the yo if it doesn't need it. Um, you know, you'll know if you need it if it starts to feel like gunky or so. Uh, I try to lube it first. If the lube doesn't fix it, then you're gonna have to clean the bearing. But um, you know, uh, I try to lube it first. It's uh, it, it unfreezes a lot of uh, like yo-yos that get stuck responsive, or just the bearings seize up. Uh, particularly as seasons change and uh, and what have you, I feel like that happens a lot more often. So uh, you know, uh, let me know down in the comments. Do you have any uh, any other ideas? Uh, my my way of doing it's pretty quick and pretty easy. I think um, a lot of guys ask me how I do it. Um, my yo-yos all stay unresponsive and and play pretty good. So, uh, you know, I figured this might help a few people. But uh, anyway, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the, in the description there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers to you, and we'll see you next time.